going on, Logang? Welcome back. Today, we are working on Moto Moto. If you remember last week, we turned this from a 500 watt children's toy into a 72 volt over 3000 watt death trap. I rearranged a couple things, uh, put the controller up top, I encapsulated the battery so it's a little more weather resistant. And you can tell that I've been uh, riding this around. I've been uh, taking it off road quite a bit. So we have some cleaning to do, but because this thing is so insanely dangerous, there are some very important upgrades that we need to do. And that's what today is gonna be all about. Taking this thing from a semi-finished rideable version to kind of a, a more advanced, safer, more fun version. Real quick over review of the upgrades that we're going to be doing today. First things first, hydraulic disc brakes. These mechanical ones do technically stop the bike, but they're a little bit sketchy. They squeak a ton. Okay. Plus, they don't provide much stopping power and they don't give a whole lot of modulation. So in learning how to like wheelie, for example, the brake is basically either on or off and having some modulation there will be really helpful. The answer to that is these uh, hydraulic disc brakes. These are actually the exact same ones that Electro & Co uses in their kit, and also the exact same rotors with the 48 millimeter bolt pattern rather than the standard 44. By the way, all of this stuff is available on Amazon, and of course, I'll have links down below in case you wanna build up your own Moto Moto and save a couple bucks while you're at it. The next thing is this seat wrap. Believe it or not, um, the current seat is not particularly grippy, and in order to fit the controller, I uh, chopped the seat in half. So I'm gonna attempt to do something I've never done before, which is re-wrap or re-upholster a seat. And hopefully this will provide a lot more grip and uh, my butt won't slide off. Last couple things, new foot pegs, uh, because these ones are bent and not grippy. New chain, which I may or may not put on today. This is a heavy duty version. So I just may wait until that one snaps, but it's good to have that anyway. And finally, we have an LED light that actually runs at 72 volts. So this is a 72 volt system and most lights like this require a step down to run at 12 volts or a more standard voltage. According to the reviews, uh, this thing will do it. So we're gonna run this straight off the battery and wire it in with this aluminum thumb switch that we will mount to the handlebars. Okay. So that's it. That's the plan for today. First thing I got to do is get this up on a stand of some sort and then we'll do the brakes. Okay, brakes are done. Now, obviously I haven't ridden it yet, but these feel uh, immaculate. The old brakes were squishy, and like I said, they had like no modulation whatsoever. These are very direct. Like, check this out. Okay, I realize that's not the best demonstration, but overall, I think they're gonna perform really well, or at least I hope so. And we will obviously be taking this for a test ride uh, later in the video on the GoPro, so we can see how they work. Also, I gotta say, they look awesome. Ignore the green and the red, it looks a little Christmassy. I'm just not sure uh, what color we wanna do it. I know I wanna keep the red. So if you have any ideas uh, for what color plastics and fairings and theme we should do on the bike, comment it down below. You could really help me out because I'm really at a loss right now. All right, next up, I think we're gonna do the seat and then we'll do the foot pegs and then we'll do the light and then we're done. <laughs> Can we talk about, can we talk about being you? Can we talk about, can we talk about the truth? 
The way that the foot pegs mount on the razor, uh, the flat part is on the bottom. So the pegs themselves have this rounded bit on the bottom and the flat part on the top. So that way they can fold up, but then when they're laying flat, this flat bit on the top uh, keeps them from uh, buckling downwards like that. The problem with these guys is that I think they mount like a standard dirt bike peg, which means that the flat part here is actually on the top, and that way they can rotate down like that and be guarded by this flat part here. I know I, that didn't really make much sense. Basically, uh, they rotate the wrong way. So I guess we are stuck with these stock ones for now. Luckily, these things were only like 10 bucks. So uh, we're sticking with the stockies. So the final thing that we wanna do today is uh, maybe what I'm most excited about, it's the light. So this light is only like 15 bucks, and according to the specs and reviews, it will go up to 100 volts. Now, I wanted this so that I wouldn't have to run a step down from the 72 volts down to a 12 volt, I believe. I think. This should uh, wire right up. I'll just uh, wire in the switch that we mounted up here, uh, mount this guy up right about there, and then send this wire all the way back to the wiring block back in here. I don't think that's the right way to do it. If you haven't picked up on it, I really don't know anything about electronics. But I'm gonna give that a shot, test it out, and hope that it works. <laughs> Okay, uh, the moment of truth. I think I wired this up correctly, but there's no guarantee. Oh my God. Oh, look at it. Oh, it looks so good. That's pretty bright. It works. Check it out, everything is working. Like I demonstrated, the headlight is working great. It's very bright, it's in uh, broad daylight and works perfectly. I'm not used to wiring like working correctly, you know? So overall, I'm really proud uh, that this came out the way it did. I'm about to do a test ride, so we'll see how the brakes perform. But also, I'm really happy about the cable management here. You can see that I have to do a lot to kind of keep the lines out of the way of everything. The wiring for the headlight is this kind of a uh, sketchy heat shrink triangle thing. But then the rest of it is tucked away pretty neatly. Nothing is binding, nothing is uh, too, too sketchy. And the seat came out great. It looks awesome from the top, at least. Don't look underneath, it's, uh, it's not pretty. But you know what? It's functional and the final aesthetic touches for this bike will go on in next episode. I got a couple things in mind. But honestly, I'm kind of digging this kind of naked bike look. If you have any ideas uh, for what we should do aesthetically on this bike, let me know. And without further ado, Let's get out and ride this puppy. Oh, the key's not in. Okay, so setting off in Moto Moto. Okay, first off, um, oh God, the sprinklers. First off, I'm riding on the street, which I never do. I hate this. I'm super nervous right now, but this is the only way to get to the trail. Second off, uh, speaking of going downhill, I've noticed that I can effectively brake with one finger, which is ideally how you should be doing it. And there is so much more modulation. I think that is a huge improvement, both for safety and uh, to improve your riding. Oh Jesus, God, I always forget how powerful it is. Okay, finally, I'm getting off the road. I'm gonna go back to mode one because sometimes I forget to change modes and then I almost die. So yeah, so far, so great with the brakes. Over this bump, oop, oop, oh God, wait a second. Oh, Jesus. Oh, look at this. It's like a little meadow. I don't know what you call it. 
This isn't nearly as exciting as I thought it was gonna be. Okay, let's go find a trail. Okay, so brakes are great. The seat is noticeably grippier. I used to slide all over the place on this thing. And so in learning wheelies, uh, this will be much more helpful. Okay, this is steep. I wish GoPro could figure out a way to accurately convey genuinely how steep something is. Oh, nice. Dude, these brakes are awesome. The old brakes, I don't know if you remember, they were loud. Oh my God, what is this? Are these stairs? I'm not gonna go down stairs. <sighs> oh my God. Oh, there's someone in the car watching me. That's embarrassing. Let's find some more substantial trails, shall we? Gotta be respectful of the doggy. Doggy doggy. All right. Uh, mode two, let's get it. Oh my God. Oh my God, what is this? Oh, tight corner. Kick the back end. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Oh, we went too hard. Come on, buddy. This is why I took the chain guard off. There we go. All right, let's quit messing around. Mode three. Oh, God. That's okay. where we started. Oh my God. Those are thorns. Oh my God, I'm so dumb. I gotta get some goggles. All right, oh God. Okay, so good news is the brakes do work. They work actually really well. I locked them up earlier, but they also give you enough modulation that you can kind of slow down in a controlled way if you're not a dummy like me. Also, shout out to the light. Let's turn it on. Is it on? Yeah, it is again, bright daylight out and it's summertime. So maybe not the best time to uh, test the light, but whatever. Whoa, look at this. Look at the light on it. Can you see the light? That's sweet. Okay, I guess we can't, can we go under that? I'm gonna turn the light off. We need all the battery for power. Okay, this is definitely a benefit of the mini moto. Hey, Sauron guys, try going under that. Just kidding, I do want a Sauron. No shade to Sauron owners, I'm just jealous. Okay, now we're getting more narrow. Now this is getting more technical. Who knew the, tra ow! Who knew the trails would be less well-groomed after the giant tree blocks the path. Okay, you know what? I don't think this is worth it. Hello, old friend. Don't mind if I just uh, duck under here. There's so many options in this park. I really don't know which ones to take. Okay, it's a straightaway, mode three. Oh, hello. Jeez Louise, dude. What I really like about the brakes is I can one finger kind of kick the back out like that. So if I want to get really tight on a corner, let's see if I can find one, hold on. Woo! Oh, there's that damn branch again. Sorry, doggy. That was mode one? Uh, uh, uh. What's over here? Whoa. Hey. Wow, that's awesome. 
Man, I love Seattle. I feel bad disturbing that guy's peace. Hope he's having a good day. Okay. Hi, Dougie. Yeah, well, he's doing great. Thank you. Have a good one. All right, let's get rowdy. High trails, mode two. Let's get it. Come on. Push, 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 push. Yeah, you this guy. Oh, watch your head, watch your head. Oh, God, that was scary. Okay. Oh, man. Nice work, Moto Moto. We're still at 69.9 volts. Nice. All right, hope you enjoyed that one. I'm really excited that Moto Moto is uh, in the format that he is right now. This is like so fun and the new brakes make all the difference. It's pretty awesome. Of course, if you want to build something like this, I got all the affiliate links down below and tune in next week for more E36 content and probably more stuff with Moto Moto. All right, that's it for today's video. If you liked the video, make sure to like the video. If you really like the video, make sure to subscribe and make a new video every single week. Thank you so much for spending your time watching this video and I'll see you next time. Peace.